what we see that is happening now in, in, in the education is that we have to find the right balance of how the offline and the online can coexist, right? And, and, and the right way of, of focusing the, the, the ed tech is with that combination of the right amount of screens or a responsible use of screens with an experience component. Being the founder of Vowplay, an educational space for children to develop soft and core skills for future technology leaders, you must have encountered a lot of scenes where digital technologies are utilized in the educational landscape. From your extensive and hands-on experience, how is EdTech changing the learning experience for today's children? And how do you see it changing the whole educational landscape in the future? That is really an amazing question. And, and I really love because it's, it's actually the change is huge and it has been happening um, thanks or uh, to, the, to the pandemic. It, it's having moving forward so fast. So the reality is that we passed from a model in where everything was offline, probably as you and me uh, learn in school, to a model that it's closer and closer to 100% digital. And, and the pandemic teaches us that the e-learning was needed and, and was so useful, not just at schools, but also at houses uh, in order to learn and to be connected with everyday tools. Um, however, what, what we see that is happening now in, in, in the education is that we have to find the right balance of how the offline and the online can coexist, right? And, and, and the right way of, of focusing the, the, the ed tech is with that combination of the right amount of screens or a responsible use of screens with an experience component. So I think that technology has a right to stay and every day is gonna be more and more important. Uh, it, it is key in the future of our future generations, independently of what they decide to study. And for me, this is key because technology will not be just for coders or programmers, technology for will be from for anyone. It, it, that includes if you decide to be um, to work in gardens in the future, for example. Even though some work that may see very hands-on and crafty, you may also need to understand how um, a system of the water system of how you irrigate the, the plants will work. And this will also have technology. So technology will be not just for coders uh, or programmers, it will be for everyone. Even if you wanna be an artist, you will have to implement technology. Now, for example, selling your art uh, through blockchain. And, and this is something that we have to get used, but it's also important to understand how do we approach or how do we get close from very early age to the technology in a responsible way. I don't know if that uh, answers a little bit the question. <laughs>